So um, let's talk about uh, your plans for the upcoming weeks. We've now got the April TV fixtures. Um, I'm about to open your half, half of them. Half of them. As we, I love that as you've we, not even looked at this yet. Great. As we alluded to the fact that they would possibly release them in stages anyway, which they do. Um, but yeah, they came out yesterday, mate. So, you know, uh, not had a chance yet. Tell me, what have we learned? Uh, well, here's the that headline. West Ham are continuing to play at 2 p.m. on Sundays. Um, no. No. Um, you might do for one of the games, um, but the other for two the, you won't. Yeah, yeah. Um, here's the headline on this for the April fixtures, and we've got the first three match weeks. So that's the, the mid. We obviously already had the, the first weekend after the international break. We've now got the midweek after and the two weekends after that, taking us up to Monday the 15th of April. The headline on April and that first weekend back now is, I think we've got requirement for four teams only across all four of those weekends. Those four teams are Tottenham, Chelsea, Liverpool, and Manchester City. That's not to say you should have 11 players from those four teams, but that is, in my opinion, the only requirements. I think in terms of alternatives to captaincy from those four teams over the four match weeks would only be Tuesday the second. You could have a debate, not Tottenham, and you might want to look at West Ham, Newcastle, or Wolves as alternatives we'll touch on. And I think the next night, uh, Wednesday the 3rd City have Villa at home Arsenal have Luton at home so a little bit of a debate otherwise City, Liverpool Chelsea, Tottenham will basically cover you captaincy through all of that opening period that we've got then it will flip again right because there's a possibility on the next weekend afterwards it's possible that none of those teams play that weekend because, of, stands, the, yeah. because of the FA Cup semi-finals and other than Chelsea against Newcastle on Monday the 11th of March, after Sunday, we don't actually have any requirement, arguably, for City, Liverpool, Chelsea. For Tottenham, we will. I think probably Tottenham against Fulham assets. Saturday the 16th will obviously be popular. There's an obvious entry point against Villa the Sunday before. These April TV fixtures have, have fallen as follows. So Tuesday, April the 2nd. Mm -hmm. I remember these midweek fixtures we see the teams for all of all of the games but it is staggered 7.30 and 8.15 p.m. kickoff so it'll be 7.30 deadlines every night Tuesday the 2nd Tottenham go to West Ham that's an 8.15 kickoff the alternatives for captaincy that night I think Newcastle at home to Everton or Wolves at Burnley if you've hung on to your Huang or your Neto and you, oh shit, I really want to make up my points. And do you know what? If Wolves lose tonight against Bournemouth, um, sorry, against Brighton in the Cup and play Bournemouth on FA Cup Court final weekend, there is a case to be holding up to that Burnley game, I think. Um, that might not feel in quite the same if obviously Wolves win this evening. They are marginal favourites in that tie against Brighton tonight. So Tuesday the Wolves second, are. because he's at home. Yeah, marginal favourites. Matoma yeah. we think's out for the season. The season I heard, yeah, yeah. That West Ham Tottenham game uh, on the second. I'm leaving the country on the fourth to go to Portugal over Easter. I might need to leave early, mate. I might see if I can get out of the country on the second. I hate it being here on that day. Ugh. You know where I'll. You know where I'll be. Or though, I'll right? be in Portugal wearing my colours with pride every single day. Uh, so why are you still wearing your West Ham shirt? I'll be at Westfield Shopping Centre that evening. Are you going? Are you? Yeah, of course I will. I booked train tickets to Newcastle this morning for a couple of weekends afterwards <laughs> because I love the punishment, as you all know. Uh, so that evening, Tuesday the second is quite open. Wednesday the third, as I said, City at home to Villa, Arsenal at home to Luton, Brighton are at Brentford on Wednesday the 3rd of April. So it's got I mean, that, that's, Arsenal, surely. that's a rare occasion where it's a City home game and there's a debate to be had whether you want to go something else, possibly, but still robot be hard to argue against. Thursday the 4th is clear as day. Liverpool and the Sheffield United. The other game is Chelsea against Manchester United at Stamford Bridge, but it's a Liverpool player. And let's be honest, it's the Thursday night. So if you don't have anything... You'll see the team. You'll buy what you want that night, but it will probably mm. be Mo, won't it? If the uh, Liverpool Everton game doesn't happen in um, in the quarterfinal weekend of the FA Cup, are you quite 
comfortable coming off Liverpool, skipping the City and Brighton games and then coming back to them for Sheffield United? Uh, that be... Not necessarily the Brighton game, no. Because think... Ars- Arsenal will give you a five for two on that. Um, if the Chelsea game happens. Sorry. Yeah, it's all ifs, buts and maybes. And then one of them, Arsenal, so much it's is probably a four for two. And one of them Arsenal games is Manchester City away as well, isn't it? So yeah. how much of a gain is that? There'll be lots of other teams with bigger games, Tottenham, Villa, West Ham, for example. Ah, Bournemouth, Sheffield United at home, Luton at home, Bournemouth. Everton at home, Palace at home. Like four home fixtures. And then Luton away. Period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So This is why Solanke was a certainty. Yeah. Um, because th- those seven fixtures are great. You could barely ask for better than that over a seven-game right. period. Where's Kiefer Moore when you need him? They've loaned him out, haven't they? Or they yeah, sold he went him or to Ipswich on, on loan. And the new guy they've bought, Unes Emel, who played up front last night, he may also have an injury, oh. by the way, as well. So we might suddenly be looking at um, 6.6 million midfielder Antoine Semenyo, OOP up front, which... Could be an interesting one when the teams drop on Sunday, maybe to go into. Um, where was 